Hey guys, it is Says Big Bites today, and we are going to be painting a crankbait. I know you guys have been waiting for this video for a while. I know there's some subscribers out there. As you can see, there's one drying right here. I just put clear coat on this bad boy. This is my bluegill crankbait pattern. So we're going to be painting that today, and I'll be teaching you guys step by step how to do so. This is going to be a longer video. So when we make this bait, you are going to need a couple of simple things. There is a little bit of mixing, but if you have a gravity-fed airbrush, that should be no problem. You need some green paint. Can you guys see that? Where is it? All right. Hold on. So you're going to need some green paint. Like so, right there, I like to use the Wicked Colors. You're going to need some Wicked Colors, like silver stained, I don't really know what it is. You're going to need some yellow, and some red, and white, of course, and black and blue. Now, you probably can actually... Uh, Substitute colors here. I'm not saying you don't you can't you have to use these colors. This is just what I used And here's my clear coat. I will also be dipping it in clear coat in this video So there's that you want to make sure you get clear gloss When you get clear coat otherwise they won't be shiny So this is kind of what I have going on. I have some blanks. I'll be ordering some plopper poppers Whopper ploppers, sorry uh, Probably some more jerk baits more crankbaits. I have a really cool crankbait that some really cool crankbaits that will probably be coming. Um, I just thought I'd show you some of the lures I've been painting. This is my perch pattern in a popper. You have darker pattern and then you have a lighter pattern, like so. Also, a video will be coming up with those. This these guys. I think I, I think I did a video on these guys. I'm pretty sure I did. I dipped this guy in clear coat again. Just to be safe, because something is big, something big is gonna come after that guy. And then we have some other jerk baits, like so. Many other baits here. One of my favorites is this guy. So yeah. So let's get into this painting video. Uh, today, these honestly, guys, these are just from Amazon. You can get these, and these are just what they are. They're square bow crankbaits. So, I like using square bills. I know a lot of people like to use other kinds of crankbaits, but square bills are my favorite. So, we're going to be painting this guy. And what we're going to want to start off to do is we're going to want to start with our normal color here, like we normally use, which will be our white. I'll put these over here for now. And, sorry. And some of the other supplies that you'll be needing, you're going to be needing your white, your paints, and a hair dryer, and an airbrush, of course. You know, I switched over a lot to using a smaller uh, gravity-fed gravity or a bucket because it make it helps me do my proportions better, and also because it's giant. So I have two airbrushes. Wicked is my favorite uh, airbrush company. Well, airbrush paint company. So we're gonna be spraying this on a higher psi because we want to cover the whole bait. Also, a clip does come in handy. Like so, so you guys can see there. So yeah. I'm gonna use quite a bit of white paint to cover this bait. Just making sure you guys can see that. And you're just going to want to cover everything with this white. Because when you buy the blanks, there might be an imperfection. And this highlights all of everything that's on there. So we have that. You also are going to want something like a manila folder or something to put something on. If you need to, to hide something. Like when we paint stripes and stuff, you're going to want to use something else. 
always, always, always clean your airbrush, guys. I need airbrush cleaner, but I've just lately been using some Dawn soap and some water. It works. Hot water is better, but just some of that stuff. So, now that we have that, you're going to want to clean out your paint bucket. Instead of using paper towels, I've switched over to some other stuff. And at the end, I will give you a complete tour of my painting station and everything in it. So, now that we've sprayed our white, you're going to want to move to a green. Now, this green right here is the Wicked Createx green, and it's metallic. But we want it just a tad bit darker, so what we're going to do is we're going to add in some of the silver here. And so what you're going to do is you're going to want to put your green in the paint in your airbrush first. About a drop. Okay? Then you're going to want to add in your silver. Shake your paints and add in about a drop. I like to, when I'm mixing, I like to do equal amounts. And that'll give you this really nice kind of palish green color here. It's not super dark, but that's what we're looking for. Okay. So now we're going to paint. And you're just going to do the top here. Sorry guys about this. I need to figure out a better camera situation. So, we have that. Now we're just going to paint our top. Just like so. And you're going to get the nose and go halfway down the body. Like so. Okay. So when you get this far, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to dry it. So now we have a dryer. You could layer these paints. I'm putting them on so thin it doesn't really matter, but I just like to make sure. And then you're just going to want to do a little overspray down to the back. And what that does is that's going to layer your paints and it's going to shadow them right. So you're going to want to make sure you, have, you do that. And guys, we're literally 11 subscribers away from a giveaway. And now, in this giveaway, I am giving away one of the baits I paint here. Now, the person that wins the giveaway will either get to pick a crankbait or a jerkbait. And then they will also get a package of Sankos. Big white bait, uh, fat stick, watermelon red Sankos. So, 150 subscribers. We're 11 away. Tell your friends. And I just can't thank you guys so much for how fast my YouTube channel has grown. And I'm very, very happy. And I'm very excited to see where this is going. Eventually, I would like to upgrade my painting station to wood. So I can have my cardboard around. It will be just a little more sturdy. And we'll do that. So I'll have a video on that eventually. But let's get back to the bait, guys. We're getting close. Well, not close to done. It takes quite a bit. I could probably crank one of these out in 15 minutes. It just takes a while when you get started. So, yeah. I think every 100 subscribers, I'll do a giveaway. And from here on out. So next we're gonna move to a yellow. It's gonna look fairly similar, but it's gonna layer on there different. And it's gonna look just a tad bit different in the shadowing, if you guys can see that. So it's gonna look it looks just a little bit different here. And that's gonna be your middle section kind of of what the painter should look like. I really need to figure out a better situation here. I'm stepping on my cord. I see the problem there. Alright. Hopefully we don't have any more issues. But we're cruising along on this bait. So when you get that far, you are definitely going to want to dry it. So let's go ahead and dry it. And this is called heat setting. So this is a very important process in which we're working. So you're going to make sure you, you heat set that because that makes it so you can layer your paints. Very, very important step. So... Yes. Always make sure you clean out your airbrush. And so our next step we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting on a red. Now, a lot of the pictures you see out there have orange on them, but I just don't have orange. I will be ordering like an orange eventually, 
just to upgrade my paint collection here. Uh, but it is very important that you do have an assortment of colors because with blending colors it's very important. So we're down to our three colors. We have our red, black, and blue. So our red is right there. Wicked colors. All my paints are wicked colors really. I really only use wicked colors. I just I love how they spray. So yeah. So we're now gonna be putting on our red. Test your airbrush, make sure it comes out red. Just a light like coat or a dust. You know, first just to make sure I paint is good. And you wanna go just up the body just a little bit. See like that? Kind of like on a fire tiger. And really redden up the belly. Just, you don't want to do that. All. You just want to overspray just a little bit on the belly. I'm going to go up just a little bit more. So, so see that? That's what we're after. And just to let you guys know, baits aren't perfect in the real world. So really, if you have like a little mess up or a scuff there to go up on your paint just a little bit, doesn't hurt at all because things aren't perfect in the real world and that's very important so that's a very important step is to, I don't try to make my baits look absolutely 100% perfect because really what I'm going for is to make them look as natural as can be let alone, too, I want to make some pretty baits. So, basically, yeah. And I highly recommend getting real eyes for these guys because they just, it makes them look so much better instead of painting them. I started painting my eyes and it just makes a world of a difference to be able to, to uh, put eyes on them. It just really makes them pop. So, clean your airbrush. And we'll be moving on to the next step. And an airbrush will clog, so you want to make sure you clean it every time. Every time. I cannot emphasize that enough, you guys. I think I will be doing an airbrushing tutorial, too. And maybe this summer I'll do, like, an airbrushing class, you know? Like, live stream something. Or, like, I can actually do a class. You know, I can actually teach somewhere. Airbrushing class, and we can paint some baits. Make it like a fee or something of 20 bucks and you come and you paint some baits with me or something. So make sure you, another thing I can't emphasize enough is drying your bait, heat setting it. It's very important, so just dry it. So we're ready to put on our black. So next we're going to do is we're just going to start in the top here. Crap, that's red. Okay. I didn't put in black yet. thought I did that. <laughs> it's a good thing I'm spraying over the top of that. So put in your black. Alright, we're good to shoot now. So we're going to just spray. If you guys would like to purchase baits, that's also a valid option my air compressor just turned off. You can also buy purchase baits. Uh, you can contact me for the price. I will put my Instagram in the bottom and you can DM me if you, would, if you are interested. If you are interested in an airbrushing class on painting baits, you can comment down below. So next, you, this is where your manila folder is going to come in handy because you're going to have to set your bait down. And I like to use a comb or whatever this is called, I'm not sure, but this works very well. You're going to spray lightly. You're going to want to spray very lightly. So what you do is you go behind the gill plate just a little bit. I'm not going to be able to show you this, I don't think. So you're just going to go and you're just going to spray very lightly. 
like so, like that. And then what you get is this nice pattern, like so. So yeah. I'm sorry, I don't think I'll be able to show you guys just because it's very difficult for me to do that and hold the camera and all that. So, I'll just be doing this here. If you want a more in-depth uh, tutorial, I can do that as well. Make sure you get it covered nice, nicely. If you get a couple scuffs or something like this, just paint. And it'll make it look beautiful. As you guys can see. So this is where we are so far. You can just do another another coat up there, like so. And dry that. So then, our next step is very important. Alright guys, sorry about that, I'm back. And we are about to do our symmetry here. So it's a very important thing with bluegills is if you, look, if you look, there's the gill plate. And usually where their blue is, is along the, the, the gill plate. So we're going to put that in. And make sure you test your paints to uh, make sure you have the right color blue. Very important. So, we're almost done here. Alright, so now we're going to put on our, our uh, blue. Like so. And there's your blue. So, now that our blue's done, I'll be right back with you guys in a sec. Hey guys, I'm back. Sorry about the delay. We are just about to put on our finishing touches touches on this bait. So your last color you'll be needing now is black. You are going to need the black again, yes. And what we're going to do is we're going to touch up the back just a little bit and then we are going to be putting, uh, we are going to be uh, putting a spot as you can see in the other one. So right here, as you can see that there is where the blue ends, you're going to want to put a spot. Just like so. Like so. I'm gonna do the other one off camera. Perfect. And that's what you want. So from here, we are basically done. We just have to heat treat our fat. There's two more things. Well, it looks fine. It'll be fine. Yeah, it looks fine. Like you said, these are perfectly made here. So now we're just going to do a little touch up on the back where I got some paint. Now I'm spraying the blue. Just helps. And after you do that, you're going to want to paint the front of the bill since these don't come. Uh, then I just I just paint the bills on these guys. So let's paint the bill. You don't have to paint the bill, I just like to. 
pet peeve of mine. So there you go. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to put eyes on this guy. So let's go ahead and do that. And for my eye choice, I like to put on red eyes. Just makes this bait pop. I don't know. It's something I like it. So we're going to put on our second biggest or third biggest eye size here. They come on sheets of paper. You guys probably can't see this. I just have to do this off camera because it's very hard ah, and frustrating. So as you can see, this is our bait so far. Give me one second, I'll be right back. Okay guys, so as you can see, this bait is done. Pretty nice looking, but look at that guy. He's shiny. So what we're going to do is we're going to dip it in clear coat. So give me a second. You guys can look at my painting station real quick before I give you a tour. And what you're going to want to do is kind of what I have set up here is if you have a, a spray booth, is you have some cl paper clips. And you have another paper clip hanging down from that. So that's what I like to do. So I'll grab my paper clip and you're going to hang it by the bottom there. And then we're going to take our clear coat. I, don't, I know I should be using a flathead, but I'm using a Phillips because it's on my phone right now. So, there's that. You're going to get all your gunk out because that happens a lot. Clear coat hardens. i just fix that really quick. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to take your camera and your bait and you're going to want to dip it in. Let it dry for a second. And dip it back in. Dip it back in. And then let it sit there. And basically this bait is done. I'll be posting a picture in a little bit at the end. You guys will be able to see the whole thing. But so this is what it looks like with clear coat on it. And We'll come back in in about an hour. You can be able to touch it. Not fishable in an hour though. You should not fish baits in an hour after they're done clear coating. It's got to sit 24 hours before fishing. And thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for being my subscribers. If you're not a subscriber, you should make sure to be a subscriber. But like I promised, a little tour here. So up here I have my different paints and stuff like that stuff that i'm probably going to bore you with but so these are my different paints got my airbrush holder stuff like that got a calendar back here we have our spray booth airbrush air compressor stuff like that behind the scenes stuff like that some of the lures i've painted then we have here um, the drink baits i have Paints, repaints, just all that good stuff. And that's about it. Thank you guys for watching.